Hi, thank you for logging in and checking out my LEA to me for the Digital Citizenship Seminar. We're going to go over four units concerning digital citizenship, digital equity, safe, healthy, legal, and ethical technology use, as well as diversity, cultural understanding, and global awareness. Um, we're starting on the Unit 1 section of the content. So I'll kind of take you through a little step by step of how this section is supposed to be used. Before you actually begin this, the seminar, I'd like you to take the digital citizenship pre-assessment through Quizlet. If you click this link, it will take you to Quizlet and I'm going to show you how to change the test options in order to take all 47 and matching or true false so you can go here where it says options click on options change 20 to 47 take it off of multiple choice and true false and then click create test and it will show up like this you can take the test like this and here you would just put a letter and so on until you were completely done and then it would score you would hit check answers and it would score you and give you a percentage just screenshot this page and post it in the appropriate place under the taskbar. I'm going to get back to that for you. Alright, if you go to the discussions actually, when you go back to Unit 1, it says to... actually you click on discussions and in discussions for overview, it says pre-assessment, pre overview pre-assessment, you'll click here and <clears throat> post your assessments and your, your assessment results here and then you'll discuss with your classmates what you think your strengths and weaknesses are dealing with digital citizenship. Alright, going back to the content for Unit 1. Unit 1 is an overview of digital citizenship. Digital citizenship is the norms of appropriate responsible technology use and being a good digital citizen is more than knowing your way around the web. It's about connecting and collaborating in ways you don't even know were possible. For more information concerning those you can click either one of these links to get a better idea. Um, digitalcitizenship.net has a very good explanation as well as commonsense.org and it scrolls down and tells you how to be a good citizen and it goes through the various topics and many of these topics are the same topics that we will cover throughout the digital citizenship seminar. All right, so as a teacher, I do feel it's my responsibility to teach my students how to be digital citizens. Um, I've noticed a lot of times in class, just hearing them talking, that they don't always know the appropriate way to use the websites, um, to use the information they find, how to speak appropriately um, when dealing with other people and things of that nature. So some various sites that I've given you will give you more information. Um, to become more familiar, there are some steps that I asked you to. I asked everyone to follow. Here, you can actually take a quiz to see whether or not you're a good digital citizen, and it goes through and asks you questions. You start the quiz here. You go through and you record your. You go. You go through and it asks you the questions one at a time, and it, it gives you results. Just like you did with the pre-assessment, I would like you to record your results your results in the discussion forum that is assigned for this and then have a discussion with your classmates. Once you've taken that 
quiz, you're going to look at the nine elements of what it means to be a digital citizen. Nine elements to digital citizenship. This little video actually goes through a pretty short and sweet version or understanding of digital citizenship. And then you'll complete the quiz to actually test your knowledge and understanding of digital citizenship as opposed to seeing if you are a digital citizen or how good of a digital citizen you are. Once you have finished these activities for unit one, you'll, you'll go into the next three units. Our next three units cover digital equity, which is making sure all individuals have the ability to participate in education dealing with digital technology, um, making sure that services and assistive technologies are provided in order to make sure that individuals with disabilities have the same access and the same capabilities to have what they need in order to be successful in education. Unit 3 discusses safe, healthy, legal, and ethical use of technology, trying to teach students, other individuals, how to act appropriately when using technology, how to communicate appropriately, being responsible with their information and others' information, understanding that there are copyright laws and if you're going to use someone's information, you have to learn how to cite online resources appropriately, and then understanding the reliability and authenticity of online information. Um, we all know that some websites allow you to change or edit information, so you have to be wary of those specific websites. And then Unit 4 goes over global awareness, uh, cultural understanding, and diversity. Um, many students don't realize there's a great big world out there and people are different from them and where people live, they live lives different than them. And the way they see the world and the way they communicate may be different from what they're used to. So in Unit 4, we're hoping to understand cultural awareness global understanding, diversity, and understanding that the world outside of, you know, our four, our four walls, our house, our community are different.